We are learning more about the role of super spreaders in this pandemic. The data suggests not only do most cases come from a few sources, but also poses the possibility there could be a better way of tracking cases during the outbreak. With more, we're joined by CTV science and technology specialist Dan Riskin. Dan, let's, uh, good morning to you. Let's, let's, let's drop some science on some people here. This starts with something called the dispersion factor, which is an equation represented in a K value of zero to one. You're going to have to explain all this yeah. to me. A 2005 yeah. study of the SARS outbreak found a K value of 0.16. On the other hand, the K value in the 1980 flu pandemic was thought to be right around one. So <laughs> what is a K value? Yeah, K value is a way of describing how the disease is spreading. So we've all learned about the R naught, you know, this this number that tells how many people you pass the disease on to. But even if the R for a population is, say, one, which means on average everybody gives the disease to one person, it's not everybody spreading this disease evenly. It was with the Spanish flu. That's what the K value of one meant there. But with this disease and other diseases, it's most people don't give it to anyone, and a few people give it to a whole whack of people. And that sounds like it's not that important a detail. It sounds like, you know, if it's spreading, it's spreading, so who cares? But that makes a huge difference to contact tracing because it means if, say, Donald Trump tests positive, in all likelihood, the person that infected Donald Trump if it's really these super spreaders that are spreading it to many people at once, whoever gave it to Donald Trump probably gave it to a bunch of other people as well. And so if you're trying to contact trace and prevent the spread of this disease, instead of just looking at who Donald Trump might have infected, what you should do is go up a level, find out who infected Donald Trump, and then find out everybody that that person may have infected. Because eight times out of 10, the person you're looking at isn't someone that spreads it to a lot of people. But if you do that step of going up one level and looking back at who infected your index patient, you have a much better chance of finding more cases. In fact, by the simulations they run, you find two to three times more people who have COVID-19. So with Donald Trump, you know, we're not worried that they're going to miss anybody. But when it comes to the, the spread in Canada, uh, I think this would be a different way to do contact tracing that could be much more effective and could make a huge difference. Dan, is that theory reinforced by a June study of COVID-19 outbreaks outside of China that estimated the K value for the SARS-CoV-2 virus could be as low as 0.1? Is that... Like, what does it say about the role of super spreaders that they're playing an outbreak in this virus? Yeah, absolutely. That's exactly what that low value means. It means that when they look at the population at large, most people are not spreading at all. There's a study that was just reported in the New York Times yesterday about India, and it showed that 8% of people gave 60% of the cases and wow. that 70% of people gave it to no one. And so it's not spreading evenly. And so if your strategy for stopping this is to treat everyone the same and to assume that every single person is spreading at the same amount, you're not going to get it. What you have to do is stop these isolated super spreading events. And just very quickly, it's not known whether this is a biological thing that some people are better spreaders or if this is just a bad luck thing that some people end up spreading it because they're in certain circumstances. But uh, because the disease spreads in these jumps, we really have to focus on those super spreader events as opposed to small trickling spread, which doesn't seem to be a, as big a factor. All right. Great insights this morning, Dan. Stay safe, my friend. You too. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.